and as we've all said all along, and I've said it many times, if you were to decide who you would want for neighbors in this world, it would be certainly Canadians. And they have so many wonderful things to, to teach us, frankly. And you know, I love you, the fact that we work together so well, stand together so well, and stand for good things. We are so happy this morning that we have Kathy Dunderdale, the premier of New Vermont and Labrador, Claude Elliott, the mayor of uh, Gander, Deborah Lyons, the deputy head of mission for Canadian Embassy, and all my new friends that I've met from Gander this morning. In Western New York, many of us say, at least uh, you can hear this all the time, and sometimes it's just taken for granted, that we think Western New York and Canada are one country with a river dividing it. Uh, we, uh, the fact that we've all gone back and forth across that border for over 200 years together, perfect friendship and security, is probably one of the most remarkable stories in the world. But we know about the terrible events that happened on September 11, 2001. Dark and murderous actions of terrorists that brought death and deep and profound changes to both our nations and across the world. Yet 10 years later, it is important that we remember the other story of September 11. The story of how in our darkest hour the world's better angels brought comfort, peace, and love to a nation in need. And the people of Gander, Canada are our world's better angels. I want to share with all of you exactly <clears throat> the burning situation our friends were confronting. When Operation Yellow Ribbon went into effect and U.S. airspace was closed, 239 U.S. and Canadian-bound aircrafts immediately landed at 17 airports in Canada. Instantly stranded were 13,000 passengers all across Canada. Becoming particularly burdened was Gander International Airport, which was only scheduled to receive eight flights that Tuesday morning, but instead took 38 aircraft and 6,600 passengers. The Canadian people did much more than just provide space for planes to land. The people of Gander and Newfoundland opened their hearts and their homes. Stranded passengers were given the comfort of a friend in time of utter devastation and sadness. The small Canadian town provided everything a guest could ask for. From potluck suppers to guided tours, quail watching excursions and musical concerts hoping to ease the pain and uncertainty in the long days that followed September 11. It wasn't only America that suffered on 9-11. Canadians, too, lost their lives in the towers that crumbled in Manhattan. But they were the neighbors that we needed and the friends that we trusted in the following days. The world seemed like an uncertain and scary place as the sun set September 11, 2001, and I don't think any of us will ever forget it. But in Gander, Canada, thousands of unwitting visitors fell asleep that night with a little more comfort, a little less fear, and a little more hope for a better tomorrow because of the selfless friendship of our Canadian neighbors. And that's why I'm so happy to be here today to tell them thank you. On June 30th, I introduced into the House of Representatives HRS 286, recognizing the immeasurable assistance that Gander International Airport, the Canadian government, the citizens of Gander, Newfoundland and Labrador provided to the United States immediately following the terrorist attacks of September 11. And at this time, I would like to present a copy of that resolution uh, to my good friends and tell them that their actions will never be forgotten. I am proud and honored to be able to thank you on behalf of the House of Representatives and a grateful nation. So let this happen. I'd like to give one to the uh, 